All right. Well, good morning, everybody. Um, I know it's morning for most of you. Some of you are on the other side of the world and it's likely nighttime. So um, happy almost new week to all of us. I said I was going to come on here back on Thursday and I said I'm going to make a video post and I'm going to address the group. Um, and then the comments, the comments just continued to pour in and pour in Thursday. Um, and you guys, I'm not lying when I say to you that it absolutely depleted me. Um, can you, she has, she has issues. Um, it depleted me. It, it really truly did. And it took a major toll on my mental health. And so I really, really was forced to kind of take the last few days to sit back to sit back and first and foremost i had to pull myself together um because i'm not lying when i tell you guys that it sucked the life out of me it absolutely sucked the life out of me in fact one of my um kids had a friend spend the night and um their mom came and picked them up the other day and i walked out to her car and she looked at me and she said oh my god sarah you look exhausted are you okay like first thing out of her mouth she's like you just look exhausted and i'm like i am like and that's when i knew that i really had to take a step back no matter how much i wanted to come into the group and i wanted to say this that and the third i couldn't do it because i mentally really had to pull myself together before I could appropriately address all of this, um, especially without, without extreme emotion. And so what I'm going to say is this, you guys, I have not ever, ever at any point in time that I have ever shared my journey publicly I have never ever lied about anything that has been a part of my journey. If you follow my Instagram, you are very aware of the fact that I am on Instagram almost every single day talking about what my legs are doing, what my swelling is like, what I've been doing to combat it. Um, if I'm doing well with nutrition, what my plan is to keep my legs, you know, as unswollen as they are or if they are swollen i'm talking about what i'm trying to do to get rid of it and i am so real and raw about this condition and how it affects my life so when i started taking this supplement i was like okay if this does work for me and if it helps me and if it does produce change in all of these areas that i have been struggling I'm gonna share it. And in fact, I'm even going to join forces with these people and I'm going to share it because I am at a point where I am ready to start taking this to the next level. I want so badly to become a health and wellness coach for women who have lipedema, but I am not quite ready to quit my day job. And so until I am able to get to that point, I have decided, okay, I'm going to try to work up the ladder by doing different things and partnering with different people because that is ultimately what is going to end up allowing me to be able to say, screw this day job. And it's going to allow me to put my time and focus 100% into the lipidine. And so when I made a decision to do this, I, I knew that there was going to be, you know, the icky MLM vibes. I, I know it. And you guys, the, the funny thing about it is that I fully understand it because I have always side-eyed the heck out of MLMs. This is the first time that I have ever even joined one. And in fact, it's funny because when I did, I would have people talking to me and they'd say, well, who's your upline? And I'd be like, the hell are you talking about what is an up i don't even know what that is i was like you know like i'm here to just take this supplement and share with the world how much it's helping me i don't care about an upline what are we talking about here um and so that right there just goes to show you like the mlm side of it i don't care about and that is like the biggest thing that i feel like i want to make myself 
very clear with because I am not coming into this group in an attempt to advance in the MLM world. I don't want to advance in the MLM world. That is not my goal. It is not my life focus. My goal and my focus is to be able to step away from this stupid laptop I sit at, dialing 80 to 100 calls a day, and to finally be able to put my effort and focus strictly 100% into becoming a lipedema coach. That is where I want all of my effort to finally be placed, but I cannot do that until I reach the point that I can finally let go of my day job. And so because of that, I thought, well, this will be a great way um, for me to share something that has really worked well for me. And on the flip side, I can make a little bit of extra money on the side from those within. And so I just want to make myself very clear in the sense that not at any point have I ever thought, oh, I'm going to use this group to build my way up into the MLM world. I've never come into the group saying, oh, I need a consultant below me. I don't care about that stuff, you guys. I have never been a, you know, oh my God, I want to be the wealthiest, richest person and I want all eyes on me. I don't care. When I come to this group and I post, I can promise you one thing. It is coming from my heart. Every bit of it is coming from my heart. And the things that I have talked about, the changes I've experienced in both, you know, the skin on my face and how much more confident that I've become because this collagen has just done amazing things for me. Um, and not even just that, you know, my joints, they're working so much better. My pain level um, has decreased so much on top of just the video. I was super excited just to get through the month last month without having any PMDD. Like that for me was absolutely huge, especially when I had a child who broke his leg um, and, and he had to have surgery. I still had to work, you know, and all of this went down a week before my period hit. You guys, in February, the week before my period hit, I was, I was good for nothing. Nothing, nothing. In fact, I probably would have been better to be, to had just been admitted into a psych unit. I mean, I had horrible, horrible thoughts, terrible intrusive thoughts. I was raging. I mean, my God, my poor kids, like, they had to suffer through it with me. It was horrible. It was so bad. And so when I went through this month, that month of March without any PMD, I, if I could talk PMDD, I was like, what? I, I got to, I have to tell everybody about this because I have so many conversations with women who also struggle with the same thing that I do. And then when my period came and I didn't have any swelling in my legs. And in fact, I just kept peeing and peeing and peeing and peeing. I talk to you guys about it all the time. When my period hits, that's when like everything just shuts down and my body's like, no, nah, we ain't working. And I will truly, truly, I mean, my urine production just decreases so much um, to the point that I can sleep a full eight hours without having to pee. But ever since I have started taking this, I'm peeing like crazy. I'm peeing like crazy. I took my compression off the other night and I was like, my legs, they, they look like this. They were so itty bitty. Now, it's kind of come at a price though because I'm waking up five, six, seven times a night even sometimes to pee. Um, and so now I've been trying to navigate that and figure out, okay, I love the little legs that I have. I love the fact that I'm not retaining water and swelling like I typically would be, but I'm also, it, it's majorly disrupting my sleep also. Um, so... Um, and I will say that I do think a part of that just has to do with the fact that I'm already living, you know, this anti-inflammatory lifestyle. So I'm already very, very low in carbs, which I do on purpose to try to ensure that I am um, keeping that fluid off of my legs. So um, that's one of those things that I'm just going to have to figure out. I'm going to have to work it out. Um, I definitely don't want to stop taking the supplement and go back to a life of PMDD, you know, and my legs swelling and everything else. Um, <clears throat> but I got to figure out how I can start sleeping at night. <laughs> um, so with all of that said, you know, to post the pictures I posted and go, oh my God, you guys, look at this. Like I share this stuff all the time. And then to have people come back and say, you're, you know, oh, you're, you're a scammer. Uh, I can smell bullshit from here blah, blah, blah. I was like, are you joking? 
Like to think that I would ever come into this group that I created, you know, a few years ago and, and just start lying about what's happening with my body in an attempt to take advantage of very vulnerable women. I, I'm not going to lie, you guys. Like it, it crushed me. Like it absolutely crushed me. And yesterday morning, I even like... I had to get a hold of a couple of the women that are in the group that I am close to because I had like this total moment where I was like, I almost just want to shut it down. Like I almost just want to shut this group down because I mentally cannot take the way that it is weighing on me personally and in, in my you know personal life. I do all these things to protect my mental health at all costs after everything that I've gone through in my marriage and you know, finally healing from the abuse, the trauma, all of it. It had, I had my little moment and, um, I got over it. And thankfully that is because there are some women in this group who are incredibly supportive of me that I truly just don't know what I would even do without <laughs> having them in my life. Um, and so I'm not going to shut the group down. I'm not going to do it. Um, I definitely was just in the middle of like a little bit of an emotional blah yesterday. Um, but I am going to change some things and, um, I hate to do that, but I cannot allow something on social media to take me from my kids, to disrupt my mental health, to leave me so depleted that all I want to do is get in bed and sleep. It takes a toll, you guys. And I think it takes so much of a toll on me because this group is my baby and the women in this group are women that I just love and I care for so, so much. So to hear these women telling me that they think it's shitty that I'm making commissions off of things, you know, I, I just signed a contract with Lipo Elastics this past week and I'm going to really start promoting a lot of their compression garments. And here I am like, oh my God, I'm so excited about this. This will be great for women to be able to see how you know these compression garments work and i can give real life reviews on them because it's hard to buy compression it's hard when you don't know how it's going to fit if it's going to be comfortable you know etc cetera, etc cetera. and then i have women in these comments telling me that they think it's shitty that i'm going to make commissions off of these things and i'm like in what world do you guys work for free in what world this whole group everything that i do on social media it takes up an extreme amount of my time. You guys, there are nights I don't even want to go to the gym and I'm like, I got to go. I have to film some workouts so I can post them to social media to keep everybody else motivated because that's almost become like my mission in life is to share with women how much exercise and nutrition has dramatically changed my life. And I talk about it. I speak on it all the time. But at the same time, I am going to have to stop allowing this negativity. And so I have decided that moving forward, if there are individuals who come at me with negativity, with accusations that I am lying, whatever it might be, it's, it's over. It's done. The comments are getting deleted and I am going to be kicking the member immediately out of the group. I am not going to allow it to go down in my group. I know who I am. I know where my heart is. I know that everything that I come into that group and post is something that is directly impacting me and going on in my life at no point, point am I making these things up for personal gain. And it's so frustrating to me, like with the post that I showed, like how swollen my legs were last month versus this month. And I post that because I'm so freaking excited about it. And I just get hit from every direction you know, telling me that I'm a liar, telling me I've altered the photos, telling me that I took them at a different angle. Hell, somebody even brought up the fact that I had a black t-shirt on in the second after photo. And I'm like, what does a black t-shirt have to do? I wore the same leggings. The size of my legs here are what is different. But people will say anything to try and dispute what you're trying to say. And, and that's just, you know, that's social media. People have big balls on social media and they feel like they can say, you know, anything and everything, whatever they want to say, but it's not going to be done in my group. And so with all of that said, you know, there was another member of the group who's been there, um, who's been here for a good while. And she left a comment saying that 
she just, you know, was scrolling through the group the other day and she had to leave because she saw all of the negativity. And when I read that, it truly like hurt my heart because I'm like, no, that this group is not for that. This is a group for women with lipedema to go to, to feel like they are going to be uplifted, to feel like they are going to be submerged in positivity. And I'm not going to allow other individuals to come in this group and start tearing me down and causing all of these issues. And so, like I said, moving forward, anyone who brings negativity, accusations of lying, altering photos, you know, telling me that I'm trying to take advantage of the lipedema community uh, for monetary gain and everything else, it's done. I am not going to tolerate it moving forward. So those comments will be deleted and I am going to be immediately banning those men. And so I fully understand if people have questions, if they have concerns, if they have hesitations, I get it. I totally, totally get it because we're living in a world where you really can't trust anyone anymore. And so here I am living in this big bad world where you can't trust anybody. And I'm like, well, I'm gonna be a light and I'm going to be a positive influence and I'm gonna be one of those people that you can trust. And in turn, people freaking walk all over you. And so that is why I have to establish boundaries. I'm going to have to set boundaries in this group so that I can keep it the positive place that it has been since the day that this group started. So with all of that said, this got much longer um, than I wanted it to get, but I did want to be sure that I came here and I dressed this group before we went into the new week this week. Um, for those of you who have been incredibly supportive, I can't even tell you what it means to me. It means the world to me. Um, I love you guys. I'll see you this week.